Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Chris and I've been in the IT field for over 20 years. Today we're going to take a look at Fedora Linux 42 beta. And I'll just scroll down here and check out the highlights. The main thing here is KDE Plasma Desktop is now an official edition. So it's no longer a spin, it's been promoted. You'll have the default GNOME Workstation Edition as well as the KDE and the cosmic desktop environment has been added to Fedora as an official spin. Anaconda, so the installer has a new web UI. We'll check that out. Let's see here. It's going to have the latest and greatest Python setup tools. Some more DNF5 improvements. The latest Ruby 3.4 has been added and some more Wayland improvements. Okay, they need testers. All right, thanks Matthew for that blog post there. So what I'll do is I'll scroll up and we'll click on the download link. I'll let this download. It'll, it'll grab the ISO, we'll just save that in our downloads folder. And then when this completes, I'll, uh, I'll come back once this is done downloaded. All right, and our ISO did finish, so what we'll do now is we'll head out to Flathub. And what we're looking for now is Fedora Image Writer. Click on that, and then this little down arrow here, you can just copy that install command. And let's pull up Terminal here. And when we paste that in, that's going to go out to Flathub and it'll download the Flatpak version of Fedora uh, Media Writer for us. I've already got that, so I'm not going to do that, but just press enter on that and it'll grab the Flatpak version. And then this is what you'll be greeted with here. This uh, image writer, you'll select your ISO file. So we'll sit next there. You'll plug in your USB stick and it'll, it'll be in this drop down menu here. Then you hit select here, go to your ISO, open it and then select your USB stick that you plugged into your computer and just hit write. It'll ask you for your password and then let that write the ISO to your USB stick. I'm gonna go ahead and boot up with the USB stick plugged in and we'll run through that install together. All right, we've booted up into the installer. I'm just gonna click on install Fedora. And this will be a cool test. I didn't try this last time. While that's loading up, let's go ahead and switch to see if it switches to dark. Oh, that's cool. If we go to the three dots about, it is running on Anaconda. Uh, but this is the new uh, Fedora Linux 42 installer. And it runs on Anaconda still. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to select English, United States, US, next. Would you like to install? All right, I've taken a picture of what mine looked like when I installed this on hardware. So I'll do some video editing on this part. This is basically what it's going to show if you don't have any OS already installed. But like I said, I'll put a picture up to show you what that looks like uh, on real hardware that might already have an operating system. So I'm just going to click on next there. No to encryption. And this basically gives us a rundown. We're installing uh, Fedora 42, English United States, install type, use the entire disk. And then it gives you a breakdown of what that looks like, right? So my boot volume is gonna be uh, formatted with extension four. And then the, remain the remainder of the hard drive is gonna be formatted as well using ButterFS. So that's the root in our home directory. So I'm just gonna click on erase data and install and we'll let this install and I'll speed this portion of the video up. But it is cool, it gives you more of a status here. You notice the different partition types. It was really fast, so hopefully you caught that. If not, you can uh, rewind the video. But yeah, I'm just gonna quit talking and let you guys see what this new installer looks like.
And as you can see, the install did finish. If you ran into any issues, they give a QR code that you can scan with your phone uh, and provide that feedback. Or if you didn't run into any issues, just scan it and provide them feedback, say it was awesome. Let them know how you like the new installer. Uh, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on this exit to live and then shut this down and then I'll meet you back on the first login. All right, and we're back from a reboot and we're still in the process of setting this up. We're greeted with a welcome screen. I want you to confirm your language here. So we're gonna go English, US. I'm gonna untoggle these for privacy and then select your time zone. Enable third party repositories. And set up a name, Linux IT guy. Super secret password. And of course it's gonna say that it's weak. Go ahead and pick a password that's not easily guessable if this is your main system. And then start using Fedora. And GNOME typically brings up a, yeah, here we go, this, this tour here. We'll go ahead and take the tour for the video demonstration purposes. Let's begin. Get an overview. So if you press the super key, boom, it's gonna break you out into this little workstation to where it, on your mouse you can wheel down to open a new workspace. I'm gonna wheel back. And you've got your search up here. You can search for applications. You've got your dock at the bottom with your application grid. I guess since we're in here, we'll just go ahead and do a system tray overview too. So in the top right corner, you've got your power, lock, settings, screenshot, your volume rocker, your um, ethernet connection, hardwired or wireless, power mode, performance, balanced or power saver, dark style, we'll go ahead and turn that on. That makes everything dark. And then we'll click back into the, the wizard here. Powerful search. Stay organized with workspaces. I'm gonna hit super here. Like I just showed you, you can open a new workspace really quick. So if you're on a laptop, you can use three fingers, swipe up and down there, left and right to move between the workspaces. And that's it. So what I like to do now on the first login, we're just gonna open up the uh, GNOME software, go to updates, drag this to the center here and we'll just go ahead and download and I'll go ahead and speed up this part of the video as well okay restart and update okay I'm gonna let these update and then I'll see you on the other side all right, the updates did complete. Let's go ahead and do a NeoFetch here. Not found, so we'll go ahead and do that install. sudo dnf install NeoFetch. Put in our password. It's not found, so we'll go with fast fetch. And then we'll run that fast fetch. And you can see we're running Fedora Linux 42. And the Linux kernel we've got is 6.14. Dot zero dash zero release candidate seven and we have 2014 RPM packages the shell is bash 5.2.37 the desktop environment is gnome 48 release candidate and the window manager is mutter running on Wayland. We're using 1.8 gigabytes out of our eight allocated on memory and that is fast fetch all right, let's go into system monitor. Our CPU is running at three, four percent. 
and the memory is at 1.8 gigs sitting idle. Let's take a look at the wallpapers. Just right click, change background. The default wallpapers that normally come with GNOME are present, as well as this new tree. We've got a dark and a light version of that. Okay, and I want to remove Firefox and install Brave. So we're gonna go out to my GitHub page and we're gonna download the toolbox real quick. It's just github.com, the Linux IT guy. And we want toolbox. We're gonna scroll down here and copy under install, bring up the terminal. Just paste that in. All right, and this is our toolbox here. And so I wanna install Brave and I wanna remove Firefox. So under the install tab, select Brave. Under the remove tab, remove Firefox. Select run. Get prompted for our password. Go ahead and put that in. And under GNOME, you'll get this main.py is not responding. You can just let that sit there. It's, uh, it's just because this application is not a multi-threaded application. So as it's working, you can see the terminal's doing stuff. As the application's working, the, uh, the Python app, our toolbox, is actually frozen. And that's because it doesn't have that multi-thread, doesn't have that support. But we'll just let this run. Put in our password in the terminal. And so if you've been following along in the terminal, you just saw where Brave installed and now it's removing Firefox, which you probably need to close out. Okay, applications have been installed and or removed. Press OK on that and then quit. You can close out of the terminal now. Press super again. You can see Firefox has been removed. If we wanted to pin this, we just right click, pin to dash, and then you can drag that over where Firefox was. Go into it. And go ahead and set it as default. Go dark. Maybe later. Uncheck the telemetry. And now we have our Brave browser installed. All right, and if we do another super here and go back into the applications pane, we can see that LibreOffice is installed. So if you didn't want that, you go back into terminal. And the toolbox that we just downloaded earlier, it installs to your home directory. So if you just bring up terminal and you type in ls for list, you'll see that you've got your you know default folders, but you've also got the toolbox folder. So we just wanna cd back into that and make sure that you make it a capital T if you're gonna tab out to, to autocomplete. So just cd, capital T, start typing toolbox and then just press tab. Press enter on that. List again so you can get the name of the file that we need which is this main.python file. So we're gonna say python3 main. Press enter on that and that'll bring up the toolbox. And basically what we wanna do is go under remove, scroll down and you'll see LibreOffice. Click on run. Type in your password again. And you'll see it uninstall. Just press OK. Quit again. You can close out of that. Do another super. Go back into your applications and you can see that the LibreOffice is uninstalled. And I'm just showing you these one by one, but essentially you can run the toolbox and check everything that you want to install, check everything you want to remove. And you can do it all in one go, right? You don't have to do it individually like I've shown in the video. All right, let's go back into settings here. And we'll go to system and about. 
again running Fedora Linux 42 and my AMD Ryzen 5600. I've allocated 8 gigs to that. And if we go under system details, again Fedora Linux 42, GNOME version 48 running on Wayland, kernel version 6.14.0-0 dot release candidate seven. Hey, if you found this video helpful, here are some others that you might find interesting as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.